Hey everybody, what's going on? All right, I'm out here in region three, sleeping in my canopy, hunted mule deer, and deploying some trail cameras, picked up a three pack from Cabela's. Just got a couple of days to hopefully get it done, and if not, deploy the cameras, hopefully see some animals. Looking forward to getting out this weekend, see what happens. Let's get going. It's a little three pack stealth cams. Yeah, I'm gonna set them up, and then I'll pack them out there, and if I see some good spots, we'll put them down see what we can find. Just want to throw a shout out too. I'm set up here and obviously I'm, I'm about to start hiking down the trail and another hunting rig came up the trail and as soon as he saw my truck he turned his truck around went back down the hill. I was here first that guy's being super chill and that's how it should go out here just good bush ethics. If I saw him on the trail ahead ahead of me I'd check out a different spot. There's lots of room to roam but good on that guy. Appreciate it. Pause it. They said these cameras came with batteries and SD card. Okay, so I've been hiking for a little bit, maybe 10 minutes. I found a nice spot where I think uh, the trail cam would work well. Kind of surveys this area. There's a bit of a, yeah, I'm on a bench. So I figure animals might pass through here. I hope so anyways, but I stick a trail cam there. That's number one. This is a cool spot. I've seen three, three mule deer does, like two does and a fawn. And it's, it's really cool hunting. I'm just walking slow, using my binoculars, kind of peering through the trees and catching little glimpses of white or like an ear moving. So it's, yeah, it's really kind of a neat hunting method. And it's cool that I'm seeing deer, but she took off over the hill. She's doing that deer that blow sound, whatever they do. Letting everyone else know I'm in the forest, but yeah, first day in, seeing deer, it's good stuff. Looking for another spot to set up the next trail camera, I guess. So I'm creeping along here. Yeah, I've scared up like 15, at least 15 grouse, just walking along one after the other. And when they took off, they scared a deer, I heard it, so. That's too bad, but it's kind of funny. Didn't bring a grouse gun. That would have been uh, limited out right there for sure. Goddamn grouse. Like little helicopters taking off. Trail cam two, go in there. So I decided to let that spike buck walk. He's really small. If he was like a big chonky body with the small antlers, that maybe would have been fine, but he was just small. Uh, and I think this is a good area. I think I'm gonna see some other deer. So I left him where he was feeding away and I'm just gonna kind of hike slowly back to the truck and tomorrow's a new day. All right, made it back to my truck. Uh, that was a good first day. Got two of the three cameras deployed. And you saw three muley does and one little buck who got lucky. Yeah, it, it's tough to pull the trigger on a little buck like that if you, if you think of, like I got a good four by four last year and I think of the giant muley that Jordan shot. You know, just, yeah, let them go, let them grow. And we'll shoot a bigger one tomorrow. So yeah, just can get everything set up and hang out. Uh, really enjoying this weekend so far. Okay, so just making up some dinner. Nothing fancy. I got white rice with a bit of soy sauce. And I got jalapeno cheddar 
Black Bear Smokies. Let's go. Drink of choice tonight would be Jameson's. Gonna have a splash of that, and then I'm gonna hang out in bed and I'm gonna read The Fellowship of the Ring for the 19th time. morning of day two nice morning nice and cold uh, hiked into the same spot that I saw that little spike buck yesterday he's not there I wasn't gonna shoot him anyways uh, but I'm just making my way through the forest I did see another couple hunters so I'm trying to give them some space and uh, lots of room out here for everybody but it's a nice morning Okay, so this is a, a cool little spot. This area is pretty dry, but there's a pond right there. <clears throat> and it kind of trickles down the hill. But I figure if there's deer around, and I, I spotted a few muley does this morning, not too far from here, but perhaps they use this as a watering hole. I also saw that antler right here. It's a bit of a trail that comes around the edge of the pond. So they're probably not going to swim through it. They're going to walk around it. So I figure animals might pass through right here. Anyways, I put trail camera number three right here. So hopefully it's going to spy whatever is coming around the pond, walking past, shedding its antlers. You never know. So yeah, that's trail cam three. But it's only about 1130 right now. So I got lots of time to hunt today. Hoping to close the deal on a nice buck, we'll see. But uh, I'm enjoying it, it's a beautiful day. Well, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. 13.30 if you use 24 hour time. And I, I'm in a good area, but I uh, haven't seen anything since I spotted those does earlier. I'm just gonna probably hang out here for a little bit. I got some Smokies in my backpack, so I'm gonna make a little fire. Uh, cook them up, warm them up a bit, and then I'm gonna keep going. Cool, so as I'm sitting here cooking the Smokies over the fire, I get a message from my pal Adam. You guys know Adam. Adam was out on a group hunt. Uh, didn't tell me where, but same general area, I think. Anyways, four point down. Four point down, Adam sent me a picture. Looks like a good buck. Right on, Adam. I'm pumped for him. He hasn't shot a nice buck like this in way too long. Um, I'm gonna get those pictures up. Go, Adam. Nice. Kind of, kind of burnt them. I wasn't paying attention, but they're still quite tasty. Something about a hot meal when you're out in the bush. Quite nice. Mm-hmm.
just like you were saying, crazy. Once upon a time, they were in danger, I think, protected. And once upon a time, in elementary school, there was a kid in my class, we were right from Bird Sanctuary, he was feeding the sandhill grain. Actually, the sandhill grain attacked him for his sandwich, and one of the volunteer little bird watching guys tackled it to the ground. He was wearing khaki shorts. It was amazing, I remember it vividly. I enjoyed that a lot. couple muley does hiking back to camp the wind is at my back not ideal but not much I can do about that but I bumped uh, three muley does so it could still happen for me I just glass super hard to see if they grow antlers or not but so far just does All right, back in the truck. That was a good day. Uh, covered a lot of ground. Not sure how far I hiked. I was using iHunter to track myself, but iHunter has a tendency of cutting out sometimes. So the trail was inconsistent, but I got way the hell out there. Saw so some deer, so I'll say it was a good day. Put the rest of the trail cams down, learned the area a little bit better, and I still got tomorrow to close the deal but I'm not stressing about it because if I can't make it happen this weekend then I will be back in November to hunt this area hopefully during the rut um, so it's all good but just chilling my canopy now making some food I got a big bowl can't really see it there you go big bowl of mule deer ground meat and I'm just gonna do white rice have another drink and I'm just gonna chill out so all good We'll see you guys tomorrow. Coffee. These Yetis are so sweet. They keep your coffee warm for hours. Well, the morning is wearing away. I've seen one mule deer doe but it's time for me to start heading back to my truck. The wind is at my back right now, so I'm just gonna pound up the hill and then hook, and then the wind will be good for my return to camp. Could happen for me on the way back, but uh, not too worried about it. Enjoying being out here, it's a nice day. Okay, so in this basin behind me, there was like six or seven does, a couple of different groups, and they all kind of made their way up the hill. The wind is bad, so they probably smelled me, but good spot probably a little too early in the season for bucks but if I were to hunt this area mid-November there could potentially be bucks there so yeah good to know hiking back out well I'm just about at my truck so I guess I'll end the video here not the most action-packed weekend but I had a good time, saw some deer, hung the cameras, and even spared a little buck to live and grow. Uh, stay tuned though, because my next hunt should be a good one. I'll be traveling to Alberta, home of the horse lords, to hunt with my friend Sam. He'll be hosting me for a backcountry elk and whitetail hunt in the foothills. Uh, super excited about that one. So yeah, hope everyone else is having a good season. If you guys have connected or had some good encounters, comment below, let me know. I love hearing about it. And uh, We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.